yeah, uh, really excited about this team. Um, had a really, really good summer, good preseason. Um, we're probably the most, co most coachable we've ever been, so these kids do a great job of retaining um, just about everything that we educate them with. Um, but we're still a little young, <laughs> you know, not old enough yet. Uh, so we're, we'll look like we're learning through probably November and then really hit our stride in December. Coach, so far, what do you see this team's identity as being? Yeah, no, it's a good question. We just talked about it. Um, so we've had to go without Peyton Scott, you know, through the summer, through the preseason. So we're still trying to work that out. You know, I think um, we take a lot of pride in doing things the right way. So we play the game the right way, uh, making the one more pass. We're probably the most team-oriented we've been. Um, so that's what we really take a lot of pride in is our cohesion, um, our want to do things the right way for each other. Um, we had to figure out rebounding. So I want our identity to eventually be that we're a disciplined deep rebounding team. We're not that right now. Um, but, yeah, just taking a lot of pride as, as a team. Uh, is there an area uh, mm -hmm. that you've seen this team come the furthest from last season to this season? Yeah. Yeah, I just think we have. And what would that be? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, I, I think we have more pieces. You know, I think um, we can put five players on the floor that can score the ball. Um, so offensively, the ball is moving more consistently. We're, we're starting to understand making the right reads offensively. Um, I think in our preseason, the defensive side of the ball has, has greatly increased. We're able to one on one contain. Um, which we struggled with all of last year. So a lot of fouling was taking place last year. We're not fouling as much now. That, that's, it's great. Makes for a fun game. <laughs> uh, how do you feel as far as your experience for the team? Is that uh, uh, going to be a plus? Uh, yeah. How about any newcomers that might be able to contribute? Yeah, I think, um, again, we're still young in area, so Ivy Wolf played significant minutes for us last year, but she's just first semester sophomore. Uh, Maddie Clues played significant minutes first semester sophomore. Um, so I think when you talk about experience, our kids have game experience, but probably not as much as, you know, other teams in our league. Um, we lost some pieces late that made us young again. And then obviously with Peyton not being on the floor, there's times where you look out there and there's five sophomores out there. Um, so our newcomers are really going to help. Sierra Morrow is probably the one that's going to be most significant and that she has that experience um, coming from Bradley. Um, so technically on paper, she's a senior. She still has two years. Um, and then Jessie is also coming from a junior college. Uh, she'll bring some experience, but she's also just a second year kid. So um, those two are going to play significant minutes early on. Riley Neal is our only true freshman. So she's feeling her way around right now. Um, but towards the second half of the season, she'll be pretty significant, too. I'll ask you the same question I asked Abby. Yeah. Um, the coach's preseason poll wasn't very flattering. Is that yeah. something that you would bring <laughs> up at all? Nah, I don't care about preseason stuff. I really don't care about p opinions at all. You know, it, how you start is one thing, how you finish is the other. Um, we literally talk about just how are we getting better every day. You know, and, and hopefully um, by the end of the season we're where we want to be. Um, so that whole preseason stuff, the only thing we did talk about is Peyton Scott finally got some, some respect getting her on her first team. But outside of that, you can say what you want about us. You know, we're still trying to figure ourselves out. And quite honestly, the league is going through some changes too where nobody knows what's going to happen. Coach, what can you tell us about Peyton Scott's status as we kind of go into the start of the year? Yeah, she got cleared um, last week. So she's cleared to progress back into things. Um, if you know Payne Scott, she's already been into things. <laughs> it's hard to sit her down. Um, but she looks great. I mean, I, I've been ar around a lot of ACL injuries and seen people come back, and I haven't seen one come back like that. Um, so she looks great. Um, obviously, we're going to be really careful and, and safer towards the start of the season. And then as we progress, um, there's only so much reeling back we can do with her. So we'll see how it goes. As you bring her back and work her in, how do you kind of blend together what you said, like the identity of the team mm -hmm. early on without her as well as what you're hoping to be kind of heading into Mac play? Yeah, it's a challenge. Um, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's a challenge we're still trying to figure out. Um, if you ask our staff, she's probably two or three weeks earlier than we expected. You know, so we were practicing without her. Just let's gain some sort of identity without her. Um, and our kids have done a great job, you know, but now it's – because she does look so good, she might be getting that that go early. Um, 
we're going to have to be still careful, you know, because obviously she's not in the game shape that she needs to be in. Um, but it's still P. And when P's on the floor, it's, it's not just about P. It's what she does for everybody else around her where they feel really good about it. You know, they're confident in themselves all of a sudden when she's on there for two minutes, on the court for two minutes. And so we're still trying to figure that piece out. Like, she's obviously not going to come in and play 35 minutes right away. Um, Ivy has done a great job through our preseason holding it down. Sydney Watkins looks like a whole different kid. You know, Maddie Kluse looks like a whole different kid. So we're still gelling some pieces together. Um, but I will say that we have a, a different level of confidence when she's on the floor with them. Coach, you mentioned how young this team is. Have any of the younger players kind of stepped up into leadership roles or just really yeah. impressed you so far? Yeah, I think they do it all in their own way. Um, like I said, Ivy has been our court general, so just playing that point guard position for us. Um, she's probably the one that wants it the most. That's what she comes from. You know, I think um, Cindy has done a great job of counterbalancing that. You know, we've had to move her position, so it's very similar to what we had to do with Peyton uh, two years ago, of move her from a wing to a point. We're doing that with Sydney right now. So she's trying to figure some things out, but she's done a great job. Um, and then the other one I'll mention is Amani Freeman, you know, as a senior. Her voice has gotten louder. You know, her experience helps. Um, so those, those three right now are probably um, in a different spot than they would have been in last year for us, leadership-wise. How excited are you to really to get the season going now? Yeah, I'm super excited. Obviously, we've been, you know, in preseason, we've been here all summer. Um, so we've been practicing against ourselves a lot. Um, so we're definitely ready to go against some different competition and just kind of challenge ourselves more. Ivy, you and Peyton Scott kind of made up a dynamic duo in the backcourt last year. How excited are you to play with her again, and what do you guys think you can do this season? Yeah, um, coming in as a freshman, Peyton um, was definitely crucial in my development. Um, you know, she kind of helped me out in different areas where, you know, the coaches didn't see things and, you know, was just a great role model for me. So it was really cool to play with her. Um, obviously, she's coming back from an injury. So, um, you know, hopefully she stays healthy and everything and we can get back on the court together too. Opening night Monday against Xavier, how many people from Minster are you expecting? <laughs> Um, I think there will be a lot there. Um, it'll be another friendly rivalry. Last year we had a lot of people show up, so it was super fun. Um, so hopefully they can show out again. Do you have a former teammate that's on the other side? Yes. Um, Tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, Courtney Pranger. She, we played high school basketball together. Uh, we won two state championships her junior and senior year. So it would be my freshman and sophomore year. Um, so it was, she was awesome to play with, and yeah, she's their post player at Xavier now. Um, she's a senior, so um, again, it'll be fun to play against her again. I looked at the uh, preseason coaches poll. It wasn't very flattering to you guys. Is, do you know about that? Is that something you can use as motivation? Um, personally, I don't pay much attention to the preseason polls and things like that. Um, you know. No matter what they say, it doesn't really change how hard we're working. It doesn't change what we do um, day in and day out. So, um, you know, we, we know what we have. We know what we're trying to accomplish. So that's just kind of what we stay focused on um, and just kind of ignore the noise. So, uh, Are there any areas uh, that you set for personal uh, goals for improvement for you either personally or for the team that uh, they're focusing on? Yeah, um, we, I mean, we every day we come in, we set an intention. Um, so we're very intentional with our practices, with our workouts, things like that. So I think as a team, we're just gonna, you know, try to mesh together. Um, we're gonna try and, um, you know, be more present on defense. Um, you know, because defense l relates to transition points and all those types of things. So just defense and rebounding has been a big focus of ours. Um, personally, more so on that defensive side, just kind of being um, a hassle for the other team has kind of been a priority for me, especially this summer and, you know, just kind of directing the offense and, um, you know, being that poised player on the court for our team. You've been through some weeks of practice. Um, what do you think is kind of going to be the identity of this team this year? Yeah, um, what we're trying to make our identity this year is just to be the hardest working team out there. Um, I think, you know, if you're working hard and you're competing, that's going to take you far. And actually, we've kind of defined the difference between working hard and competing. You know, a coach can give you a drill that's super hard that you, you're you basically forced to work hard in. But it's, you know, how are we competing? How are we trying to win the drill and things like that and be intentional with it? So I think we're just going to be competitors this year.